everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Erica from Confessions of a Homeschooler and today I'm going to show you how to put together this super easy and cute quilted um, Christmas stocking. It has this fun little red hanger on it and some cute lining. Um, I'm really excited to show you how to make this. I'm going to show you the basics of how to make this stocking and then I also have some more fun patterns below. I'll link them in the down box below because once you know the basic construction of the stocking you can actually really start having a lot of fun with the outside of it and customize it to however you would like. So let's go ahead and get started on making this super cute project. All right, so the supplies that you're gonna to need to make this project are pretty simple. You need some fusible fleece. You can also use quilt batting, um, but you'll need to either spray baste it or um, pin it. So just have those extra accessories if you need them. You need some fabric for the outside of your um, stocking, some fabric for the inside, and then some fabric for the cuff. You're also gonna need a self-healing mat. Um, I like these Creative Grids clear acrylic rulers because they're easy to cut with. You'll need a rotary trimmer or scissors, and um, you don't have have to have these you can use pins but I like these wonder clips they're really good for when you're working with bulkier materials like we're going to be doing today so those are the only supplies that we need so let's go ahead and get started one more thing I forgot to mention is you're going to also need my pattern for this stocking. Now you can download this pattern. I will put a link below and it just takes four sheets. I just printed it on my regular printer and then just taped them together. You'll see the tape lines on there. If you don't like this one or it's too large for you, um, then you can also just make your own template. You can, um, you know, copy a stocking that you already have in your home, whatever. You can really use just about anything for a template, but I thought it would be easiest to have one that you guys could download. So make sure to download download and print that one off and get it ready before you get started. All right, so the first step is to trace out and put together your pattern, which I've already done. And I just printed this on regular copy paper and taped it together, but you're welcome to put it on cardstock or, or whatever you like to make it a little more durable. Um, and then I'm just laying it right on top of my fabric and my fabric is still folded in half, just like it comes right off of the bolt. You basically wanna make sure that you're cutting out two pieces that are kind of our opposite. So I've got the print on this side and the print on this side. So when you put them together, they go together. And I'm just gonna take my fusible pen and just start marking an outline around this. Oops. And I'm gonna go all the way around this stocking and then I will cut it out. And you can cut it out using a rotary trimmer. That's usually what I do if I just go slow. You can also use scissors, whatever you have on hand. So I'm gonna do that, finish doing that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to my fusible fleece or my batting, cut out two pieces. Now just be uh, mindful if you're using fusible fleece that again, you cut out two opposing pieces. Um, I just fold my fusible fleece in half just like this is with the fusible side on the inside of both pieces and then cut them out at the same time. But you can do it however is easiest for you. All right, so I'm gonna repeat this process for my lining and I'm just gonna again, um, you know, trace and cut out my lining. But one quick thing I wanted to tell you about the lining is kind of a little bit of a cheater. Um, so if you have this really fun red fabric but you don't have enough to do a full two sides of lining for the entire stocking, you can kind of cheat and do down about maybe six to seven inches or so of the red fabric and then add like a white or, you know, whatever other fabric that you might have laying around because you're not really going to see the inside of the stocking. Just make sure if you do that to add an extra um, half an inch to account for the seam allowance, a quarter of an inch on this side and a quarter of an inch on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and finish getting this traced and cut out and then we'll get started assembling our stocking. All right, so we've got all of our pieces cut out. I've got my outside of my bag, my uh, fusible fleece, my lining, my little um, hanger, and then the batting and for my cuff and my cuff fabric. So I'm gonna handle the little pieces first. So we're gonna get started with the, um, with the little hanger. Now, traditionally you would just fold it in half and run a line down this and then turn it inside out. But if you've been following my videos at all, you know that I do not like to turn these little skinny tubes inside out. And so what I'm gonna do is actually just press it in half like this, press in a quarter of an inch on both sides, and then I'm actually gonna sew it together. And then that way I don't have to um, uh, turn anything inside out and I still won't have any raw edges. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so I'm just going to Fold in my edges here. Now, if you prefer to do it the other way, you're welcome to. This is just how I kind of like to do it because like I said, I don't like turning things inside out, but it's totally up to you. So I've just got those and I'm gonna fold it in half one more time. There we go. And then I'm just gonna take it over the sewing machine and run a stitch down here and here just to give it some kind of decoration. You can of course do whatever you like.
Okay, so here's my finished strap. So we're just gonna go ahead and set that aside. The next thing we're gonna do is take our fabric for our cuff. And another idea instead of regular fabric would be to buy some of that faux fur. You can do the same exact technique, but you aren't gonna want to add the batting to it. And you can also skip this step, but I wanted to add a little bit of the fusible fleece to my cuff just to make it kind of um, puffy. And so I'm putting it with the bumpy side down, that's the side that the glue is on, and I'm just kind of centering it. Um, just to make my life easier, I already ironed my piece um, in half uh, lengthwise, just so that I can kind of line up my batting with that line. And then you should have about a quarter of an inch all the way around. It doesn't have to be perfect, so don't worry. And then you're just gonna follow your instructions for adhering your fusible fleece to your fabric. So whatever the manufacturer directions are, just follow that. Okay, so now that I'm in the pressing stage here, I'm gonna go ahead and adhere my um, uh, outer portion of our stocking to the fusible fleece as well. And if you have a little um, piece sticking out right here, kind of like I do of the fusible fleece, I don't know if you can see that, but you don't wanna get it on your iron. And so my solution to that is to just grab some kind of scrap fabric and lay it on top. And then you can still press this is kind of my sacrificial piece of fabric here, but you can still press the uh, fusible fleece on without getting the sticky onto your iron. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish that for both sides, um, and then we will almost be ready to assemble. All right, so I finished adhering the fusible fleece to the back side of both of my um, outer pieces of fabric. So those are ready to just set aside and then we've got our strap here that we created. So we're gonna set that aside and then I also finished fusing my batting to our cuff. So we're gonna just get our cuff ready and then we're pretty much ready to start sewing. So to get the cuff ready, um, now the cuff is basically going to end up like this and then it will be in a circle, right? To go around the outside of your stocking. So in order to do that, we're actually going to take it and flip it right sides together. So this is the outer side and this is the inside. And we're going to flip it short way. And we're going to do a quarter of an inch stitch all the way edge around this um, seam right here, just down this seam, and then we'll flip it. And then we'll get ready to uh, start sewing our stocking together. All right, so I just sewed this right here so that now we kind of have this um, little uh, tube here. And so all we're gonna do now is just go ahead and pull the cuff over. And since we pressed it kind of in the beginning, we've got this little seam to sort of help us. Okay. So now we've got that done and we've got raw edges together with the batting inside there and then we've got this nice finished edge on top. So we're gonna just set this aside for a second with our strap and then we're going to sew together our outside and our lining. And so just like normal, you're going to take one of your pieces and then the other piece and you're gonna put them right sides together just like this and we're gonna sew around the edges, leaving the top open. Now the only difference here is for our lining, we need to leave either a piece down here along the side or down along the foot. It's totally up to you. We just need to leave that open so that we can turn this inside out. If you've done any of my bag tutorials, you'll find that this construction is basically identical. So we're placing right sides together. For the outside of the stocking, you're gonna sew from one top all the way around, all the way to the other top, leaving the top of the stocking open. And again, for the lining, same exact thing. So all the way around, but leave a spot either four or five inches on either the side or on the um, bottom of the foot down here uh, so that you can turn it inside out. It really doesn't matter. You're not gonna see it no matter where it is. Um, so whatever you're most comfortable or feel like it's easiest to um, you know, turn. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna do a quarter of an inch around both of these pieces. One other thing I quickly want to mention um, is if you want to do any quilting on the outside of your bag, um, now would be the time to do it before you um, sew them together. And since I'm just using solid fabric pieces, I think I am gonna do a little quilting. I might do some crisscross quilting or whatever. Um, I do have a tutorial on how to straight line and free motion quilt on my YouTube channel, so check that out if you are unsure how to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quickly, and then I'm gonna sew my pieces together, um, right sides together, just all the way around the edge like I mentioned. Okay, 
Okay, we're in our final stages, guys. I've sewed together the lining, and um, I don't know if you can tell on here, since I have lighter fabric, I just did some, you know, rough diagonal lines on this. I didn't even, honestly, I didn't even write them out. I just kind of did it. So our next step is going to be to flip our stocking um, out side of our bag, uh, stocking, sorry, bag. I'm making uh, bags all the time, so I keep saying that. Um, anyways, flip your stocking right side out, the outside, the side with the fleece on it. And I like to just use my fingers to kind of pull out this seam. And you might even want to um, hit it with an iron. Um, I'll probably do that just to kind of push out these seams a little bit better. But there's that. Okay, so there's the outside of our stocking. And then we're going to leave the lining inside out, but we're going to place our cuff and our strap on next. And so I take the side with the um, seam on it and I put it towards the back of my stocking. You can, of course, do whatever you want. You could even put it, if you know that you're going to hang your stocking, you know, to the right, you could even put it so that your cuff is um, on the wall. Uh, totally up to you. I just like to kind of keep the seams lined up with the seams. So all we're going to do is place this on the outside of our stocking. Now, um, if you want to, you can do uh, it now or when you're done, but you can also run maybe a hand stitch just around this edge, or you can also embroider a name on it. If you want to do any of that, I would do it now before you add it onto your stocking because it would be a lot easier. And I just line up my raw edges together like that. And then I take my strap here, and this is totally up to you um, as to where you're gonna want this. Um, I usually hang my stockings so they go to the right. So I'm going to place my strap on the back side right here, just right at the edge, so um, that it'll kind of be it keeps your stocking, if you put it on the side, it keeps your stocking sort of facing directions. If you're not sure if where you want to put it, you could also put it on the back. It doesn't matter. The point is, is that you want it laying down in towards your stocking. Um, you don't want it like up like this, if that makes sense. So I'm going to put mine on the back side here and I'm just going to grab a clip and clip it into place. And I just use these wonder clips. They're great for uh, bulky projects like this. And then I'm going to actually clip all the way around the outside of this as well, just to kind of keep everything in place. So I'll go ahead and do that really quick. And as you're going, just make sure everything is staying lined up on the edge. So that's all good. There we go, we're quite bad of a mini. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this entire completed piece, and here's what my top looks like. Just got my clips around it, just make sure everything's all nice and lined up, and then we have our little strap here. We're gonna put this entire thing inside the lining, and the lining is gonna stay inside out, and the sock stocking is gonna stay right side out. Okay, now because this is kind of long and skinny it can be a little bit tricky but just carefully work it in there I'm also going to use my hole down here that I left to turn it to help me kind of grab it and pull it in there and the goal is to get it all the way up here along the top. And you want to make sure that it's going the same direction. So your stocking is going the same direction as your lining. You don't want your stocking flipped the opposite direction. So I'm just going to go ahead and this gets a little bit, we've got a lot of layers in here. I do my best to kind of line up these side seams. So I'm going to go ahead and get this all lined up and pinned and I'm going to just use these same pins uh, or clips. I'm not going to grab new ones. I'm just going to kind of straighten it out in there. Clip it, same thing to the other side. Just make sure everything stays all lined up. It's a lot of layers to work with, so just take your time.
Okay, and then what we're gonna do, once it's all nice and lined up, is we're gonna take this over to the sewing machine and I'm just gonna run about a half an inch on this one just because there's so many layers. Um, and just run all the way around. And then I'll just do a front and back stitch at my start and stop. And I tend to start and stop back over here where my, um, where my uh, uh, hook is. That way I'm giving it a couple of extra, um, you know, just a little bit of extra support around that hook. So I'll go back and forth a couple times, then go around, then go back, back and forth a couple times. And then we'll be almost done with our stocking, guys. Now, this cuff is tight enough that I did have to pull out my other machine that has this smaller um, arm on it so that I can get all the way around. And I'm just gonna go ahead and sew all the way around here. Like I said, about a half inch um, or so seam. I'm just lining it up with my foot right here. And just take your time, especially going over your handle here. And I'm gonna go back over that a few times. Just to give it a little extra stability. And we're gonna keep going. So we are just about done guys. The last step, well, second to last step, um, is to pull our stocking right side out. Just gentle with it. Okay, so it should be looking something like this. And then we're actually going to close up this hole now. And I just, you can kind of hand, poke out the toe there. Um, you can either iron it or I usually just kind of grab my seams and just kind of finger press them in like so. And then I just run about an eighth of an inch stitch just all right along that edge to close it up. But before I do that, I also want to stick my hand all the way on the other side here. Just make sure everything is, you know, poked out. You can kind of do it again later. Um, once that's good, then go ahead and close up this seam. And then the last step will just be to run a little top stitch around the top. If you want, you can skip that step as well. I think it just gives it a, a more finished look sometimes. You could also hand stitch around it as well. Okay guys, we're all done. Our last step is to uh, just push the lining inside our stocking here all the way down there and make sure you get the ends in well and then you have the options at this point if you would like to to pull down the seam top seam just slightly just so that you can kind of see that red um, I kind of like to do that um, but it's totally up to you and then I think I probably will do some kind of a hand stitching just around this border you could also monogram someone's name just make sure you have it going the right way I like my Stockings going this way. So, um, but anyways, that's it. There you go. Hope you like this tutorial. Okay, so now that we have finished making our super easy stocking, I have a few more designs to show you. So I do have a link for all the patterns below, and I just took that same stocking template as you can see. This one's a pinwheel one, super cute. And these are not hard, by the way. We did this kind of chevron, and then I did this little decorative toe at the end. I also have this Christmas tree, super cute. A uh, little Christmas house. A snowman. And this guy I just embroidered, uh, did some embroidery, um, put a couple buttons on for his eyes and then embroidered on his arms. So super easy, nothing fancy. And then our last one we have is this super cute patchwork one. And then for all of these, um, I did just kind of a decorative stitch around here. And then I did one on the toe as well. So you can really kind of customize these. It would be really easy to embroider a name on here and just personalize them to fit your family's needs. So I hope you enjoy this uh, Christmas stocking tutorial. It's a super easy project. It's really fun. And um, thank you so much for joining me today. I will put links for the um, free pattern template for the stocking that we made in this video here. And then I'll also put links for the patterns for the more um, kind of fancier stockings that I just showed you. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time.
Dat is een goed